needs could take more than 38% of U.S. jobs in about 15 years. A new and shocking stat on the percentage of jobs expected to be snapped up. Robots replacing your barista, your waiter, and cashier. How do U.S. students compare with their peers around the world? Recently released data from international math and science assessments indicate that U.S. students continue to rank around the middle of the pack and behind many other advanced industrial nations. In the most recent test from 2015, 10 countries out of the 48 total had statistically higher average fourth grade math scores than the U.S., while seven countries had higher average science scores. In the eighth grade test, seven out of 37 countries had statistically higher average math scores than the U.S., and seven had higher science scores. If you take a look at this graph, you will see where the U.S. ranks compared to the countries that were in the top five. Keep in mind, the USA was not listed in the top five in any of these categories, as you can clearly see by the color blue. This isn't looking good, people. But the good thing is we're aware of this so we can now fix it. At the end of the day, if America is truly going to be the greatest nation, we need to put an emphasis on education. Can you do me a favor, please? Go ahead and take out your cell phone. What brand is it? Is it a Samsung, LG, Hawaii, Kia Sarah, or maybe it's an iPhone? Where was this device manufactured? Were any of those countries ranked higher than the USA? I'll go ahead and answer that for you. Yes. Among the 35 members of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, which sponsors the PISA initiative, the U.S. ranked 30th in math and 19th in science. Math is the universal language, man. No matter where you go, two plus two is four. It's the essential building block for conversation. We're obviously not very good at it. Coincidence? I think not. Look at this. I know y'all recognize these. Everybody got one of these in their pockets. We can't live without these devices. Our whole lives are based around these little teeny tiny pocket computers. And none of them are manufactured in the USA. Not a single one. So that should tell you something. We as Americans want the best products, right? But none of the best products are made in America. So what do we do? We import from all of these countries. What do these countries buy from America? Not very much. You're not going to go to South Korea and see people driving Cadillacs. But in America, you see people driving Kias and Hondas every day. That's pretty much how everything works. And so right now, we have a school system that's preparing our children for jobs that are not going to be there. Because we got this boogeyman right now that's standing in the room. It's called automation. And we love automation. Automation is what allows us to have that cell phone in our hand. So automation isn't a bad thing, but it's a bad thing if we're not aware of how it's going to impact our workforce. For jobs likely to be replaced by robots, ones that require high-level thinking skills like teachers and some healthcare professionals. Tom? That was a big robot. All right, Stephanie.